Agasinski. On the video is Brian Belasia, who is the president of our board. Uh, I'm here to talk to you today about the Moore program, or a 501c3. We've created a web system called Insight, which is a free thing for entrepreneurs to use in the state of Michigan to connect them to resources to assist them with their business development. I'm really excited to be here today because I actually had the opportunity to speak at Idea Lab last year, where what we were working on was really purely an idea. And since then, uh, we have a, a functional product that we have hundreds of entrepreneurs signing up for every single month uh, using to get access to the statewide pool of resources. So I want to start with a question uh, by a show of hands. Who here has heard of Hatch Detroit? I would think everybody, if you've been in the room, <laughs> because you were in the room, right? You had the opportunity to be here to hear about Hatch Detroit. You know what they do, or maybe you've seen an interview of them. Um, they had some really good coverage this year. Great resource available for entrepreneurs, but you have to know about them or have some means of, of accessing that information to get access to what they do. Uh, that's a huge problem for those who maybe don't have access to the, this information. If you're up in Muskegon or Alpena, you might not know about Hatch Detroit, and you might be very interested in opening a retail business in the city of Detroit. The other issue you want to confront head on is, does it only take money to make money? And uh, we would argue vehemently that it does not. And that's been a big focus of entrepreneurship uh, really throughout the country and throughout the world of how do we just create money to create successful business. Uh, some very quick statistics that we uh, want to make people aware of when we talk about entrepreneurship in the state of Michigan. It's a very complex subject. Um, in particular, uh, looking at some studies done by the Kauffman Foundation over the last 15 years, on average, there are approximately 200,000 business starts in the state of Michigan alone per year. And a business start is uh, when an individual is sort of actively pursuing a business idea, which is a huge number and would massively overwhelm the traditional entrepreneurship support system. Hundreds of thousands of people looking to start a business every single year. Uh, at the same time, there is, uh, there is a network that's out there to support business development. There are the resource providers, there are the tech towns and the Ann Arbor Sparks and the Automation Alley and U of M, and there are these great institutions that are out there. Uh, there are other ones that people maybe don't know about which are available for on entrepreneurial development. Um, when we take a look at it again broadly statewide, we're based in Detroit, but we have a statewide view because entrepreneurship isn't limited to a region. There are more than 2,000 resource providers in the state. And you look at all of the municipalities who offer resources, all of the DDAs, the downtown development authorities, all the economic development groups. There are thousands of these groups, all of them offering resources for entrepreneurs. The key to this ecosystem is that most of these resources have been put in, have been put in place and are free or very heavily discounted for entrepreneurs. Somebody has created a program to assist you with this business development. They have created consultants. They've created marketing uh, modules and packages. There is funding out there for entrepreneurs, and they're not necessarily a for-fee thing. Um, it's been really difficult to collect all this information looking at the entire state when there's thousands of resource providers and thousands and thousands of resources. So our job at the MORE program is to collect all this information, all of the specific detail about the resources, and make it available to entrepreneurs throughout the state of Michigan. Here's some examples of, of what I'm talking about when I talk about resources. And there are a lot of things that immediately jump to mind, like funding, but there are some really unique ones that you probably don't know about right now. Uh, so looking just at the bottom of the list, the Chelsea Community Kitchen in nearby Chelsea is a nonprofit kitchen incubator. So if you have a recipe, which you think you can scale up, but you don't know how to commercialize it, they have kitchen space and uh, commercial kitchens and mentors there to help you to take your muffin, which you bake for your boyfriend or your girlfriend, and to produce it in mass quantity and to sell it at local grocery stores. Um, Community Media Center in Grand Rapids will do radio underwriting. If you're a nonprofit with limited purse strings, they will help you promote your business. Uh, the Ann Arbor Downtown Development Authority will give you two to five thousand dollars for an energy audit, and then they will help to supplement the costs or uh, they help to defray the costs of the implementation of that audit because that's just something that they do. It, amazing resources that are out there. Uh, at Tech Brewery in Ann Arbor, at 4 o'clock today, there will be an individual from a prominent IP firm who holds office hours for free every Friday to assist you with your business development. There are thousands of these things that are out there, and people just don't necessarily know that they exist. So what is Insight? Insight is the system that the MORE program has created. The first thing that we do is we inventory, again, all of the free, heavily discounted, or unique resources that are available for entrepreneurs in the state of Michigan. The things I was talking about, things like space, things like coaching, there are lots of them that are out there. And then we have a free tool online that matches you up to the best resource provider for your business. So if you're in the defense industry and you're in the seed stage and you're looking for venture capital, there are actually support groups that are out there that specialize in your type of business. 
And if you're looking for funding and you're that type of business, we want to pair you up with a group that has funding that is specialized in your type of business. So we know this information about the resource providers, we know what resources they have, and we want to connect these pieces together. We can then use the data from the entrepreneurs who use the system to identify gaps in the support ecosystem and figure out how to fill those gaps to really complement entrepreneurship in the state. Specifically, we don't offer any programs. We don't coach anybody, we don't have funding, but we identify what people have created and make it available through the system. Uh, the goal is to ensure that no matter who you are, if you're in the underserved community, if you're in the privileged community, that you have access to the statewide pool of resources and it's not necessarily about who you know. The way that we take advantage of that is, is two different ways. Uh, first, the system is free for use at insight.co, uh, the link there. But more importantly, we want to leverage known support channels throughout the state of Michigan. People already are turning to places for help. They're turning to the libraries, they're turning to the colleges, they're turning to the municipalities for help. So what we've done with Insight is we gift it to each of our partners so that when somebody goes to the city of Novi's website, they have this button on their page which says business resources for entrepreneurs. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm interested, I thought to turn to my city for help. I click on the button and it takes me to Novi's version of Insight. It's that partner's version of the system. They're helping their entrepreneurs who turn to them for help. But most importantly, um, they are willing to share uh, and to push people out into the, the broader ecosystem of support. So I, don't know, I, I no longer feel the need to keep all entrepreneurs under my roof, but I'm willing to point you to the right place along your journey. It might be up in the UP, it might be over in Grand Rapids. Here's a couple other examples, Walsh College, the city of Portland, the city of East Lansing. Um, we have partners throughout the entire state of Michigan and we're adding partners every single day to this network. So if you go to the city of East Lansing's website and you go into their economic development page, there's a button, Business Resources for Entrepreneurs. You go there, you get the help that you need. Um, the, the key to what we're really doing, as I mentioned previously, is that there is a lot of stuff that's out there. There are a lot of resources and we want to make it not about who you know, but the ability to stumble upon the help that you need. Again, go to the city of Novi, go to the Jordan Valley District Library. There's access to the system and it democratizes resource availability. You have access to all of these things that are out there to support your business. And so uh, specifically what I'm here to ask you to do today is uh, check out the system, tell a friend, and to become aware of this fantastic ecosystem that truly exists in the state of Michigan to support business development. Thank you for your time. Thank you.